So basically, Jason and I grew up together. Um, we've known each other since we've been just two or three years old. It was back in 2015 when I first made the first move to say um, he was really shy, he was really quiet, and we kind of just grew up really um, weird with each other. We never really talked to each other, never hung out until I kind of made the first move. He might be very quiet, but he's very compassionate. Um, he'll open up really slowly, but um, you'll learn that he's very, very caring, very loving, and he'll always want the best for everybody around him. He wants to make sure that everybody has a good time, especially at our wedding. kid every time I saw her uh, for our growing up in our childhood well, we didn't speak to, to each other till we were probably 14 15 years old but um, it's one of those girls I always crushed on my whole life and um, you know she had beautiful smile she had really nice teeth I just figured she might be the girl for me but when I was at that age I definitely had zero confidence I was very I was a very fat kid and um, there was no shot that I had a chance of getting a girl like her but everything worked out. same girl twice um, both beautiful moments and uh, I'm super excited for this experience to come and it's a dream come true to have a girl like her in my life scared with his cars. I love them personally. I really do love them, but every time he's driving in them, I get super, super scared. Um, but he's got a really big um, heart for all of his cars and he's worked so hard for them. So I truly do love his relationship with his cars. It kind of allows him to, it motivates him really um, to become a better person every day and to work harder in life. So I really think his cars are going to be the reason why he achieves everything in life.
it was uh, the best way to describe her. She's super caring, personable. Um, if you ever need a shoulder to cry on or an ear that's listening, she's the one to go to, I'd say. Um, I think once you crack her and get to know her, she gets very comfortable with you and she's an, actually a really fun time to be around. And overall, is if, if you can't get along with her, I think there might be something wrong with yourself. life right now is accepting um, like new family roles um, I'm used to just kind of doing whatever you know not paying attention to other people and what other people think about me and now I'm slowly starting to um, accept a new role in my life and I want to make sure that I make a good impression on everybody I've never really thought to do that before um, I would just do whatever I want I don't care who's watching or um, who's gonna care but now I feel like I um, I'm going to change into a new role that I hope I can make a new impression and then I'm watching what I slowly do. Um, so it's going to be really sad and it's going to be really tough because I'm used to being a princess. I'm used to doing whatever I want, waking up late, sleeping late, not helping my mom do anything in the house and just kind of forcing her to do it herself. But I think, I'll, um, I think I'm ready for the next step to um, be my own person, learn new things, and um, I hope it's a great ride. So my father-in-law is a very exceptional person. Um, he has opened his arms um, bigger than anybody else has in this world. Um, to me, he's allowed me to be my own person. He's allowed me to try new things. Um, he's always told me not to be scared and to try everything that I wanted to. Um, I was a little scared first, um, you know, getting married, doing all these things, but he said, don't worry about it. Like everything's gonna be great. Um, he's allowed me to meet his family and um, all of his family members have been great to me and it's just been a really nice um, ride for me. I feel that my mother-in-law is super excited to have me in her house. Um, I know that she's missed her daughter ever since she left and I know she's going to treat me just like her daughter. Um, I know she's ready to um, have me on her side to tackle her son because he is a handful. So I think she's ready to have um, somebody by her side. Yeah, so the best way to describe my friends for this whole journey, this trip, um, everything as of now, super energetic. Uh, we're bringing the energy. Um, 
definitely making feel everyone comfortable and uh, I'm super excited that I can show them my culture. Some of my friends go back all the way to first grade, uh, so I'm really proud and honored to have those people at my wedding and um, all these new friends that I wish I consider brothers and now sisters. I'm super happy they made it along this journey and I know it's been a tough one to get you guys here, but here we are, we made it. beautiful I and my family are so happy my daughter found a perfect man and his family also is from our community and they are perfect family for us so I'm so glad again I can say they are so nice people yeah well I just want to say that uh, they are perfect Jackie Shin is perfect for Sean and Sean is perfect for Jackie Shin sure. they are a nice couple and they will be very happy and for a future, future, future. A uh, message for my family is try not to miss me too much. I know I'm the princess of the house, um, but I know that my sister's gonna take over um, my She's gonna take over my role, she's gonna take over my room, my closet, my bathroom, everything. Um, and just know that I'm gonna be very close by and I hope you guys um, are ready to experience a new side of me. Yeah, so no, my message to you is, um, you know, stay strong, stay positive. You have all the right components and traits to take over this life journey that um, me and you will take on. So just be you and don't change anything about you.